Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the North Star client for Titanfall 2. And this is a modded client that allows you to join and host custom servers. So that is pretty cool, and it's a lot of fun, and it's pretty active. So let's just go ahead and hop right into this. So first things first is you're going to need to own Titanfall 2 on Steam. This does not work with any other copy, no cracked versions, does not work. You need a Steam copy of Titanfall 2. At the moment of making this video, it is $3 on sale on Steam until May 29th, so you have a few more days to pick it up if you want to. 3 bucks for Titanfall 2. Pretty solid game. It was just released at a very bad time. Very bad time between two huge games. And then Titanfall has evolved now into Apex Legends, which uh, is fallen off strong for me but let's just go ahead and head over to northstar.tf now which will be linked in the description down below scroll down here and you're going to find the installation there's different types of installations you can have this is um, an installer in mod manager supports installing from thunderstore as well as from outside sources like github and supports installing custom weapon and pilot skins and managing dedicated servers so you can install some of this stuff extra if you'd like, but I'm just going to be doing Viper today, which is just going to allow you to play North Star and the vanilla Titanfall 2 as well, with a built-in mod manager and browser for Thunderstore. And this is supported on Windows and Linux, so just go ahead and click download here, and it's going to download a little EXE, and I have it here, right here, and I'm just doing it like this so you don't, guys don't have to see my messy desktop right now. You simply want to run a Viper setup EXE, Windows is trying to protect my PC. I'm going to run it anyway by pressing more info and let that go ahead and install. All right, it finished installing and it says your config file is improperly formatted and to just press OK to reset the config. So I press OK now and I wait a minute. And once it's done, it's going to give you a shortcut to the Viper application. So you can go ahead and delete the installation exe and now you can run Viper here. And once you run it, it's going to open up the launcher here. It looks like I accidentally opened up two of them, so I'll close one. And we can access our mods in here if we ever download any. And from here, we could just press install, and it's going to check for updates and download itself. And just make sure you've played the game at least once on the normal Steam version, otherwise it won't recognize your account on the client. So make sure you've played Titanfall 2 at least once by booting it up and launching the multiplayer on the normal Steam version. Once it finishes up installing itself, you can simply go ahead and press launch. And it's cool, you can see the server count and the player count at any given time when you just pull up the launcher here, which is really nice. And actually has quite a lot of people on right now, even though it's kind of late at night here. So this is an EA game, so it did open up the EA app, but uh, you could just ignore that, so let it run in the background, and it should launch the game just fine. And it says Windows, Firewalls, Blocks and Features, I'm just going to allow access. All right, thanks for installing Northstar. For Northstar to work, it needs to authenticate using Northstar Master Server. This will require sending your origin token to the Master Server will not be stored or used for any other purposes. Agree? Okay, sure. So it seems like since this isn't running off of Steam necessarily, I'm going to have to open up DS4 Windows to use a PlayStation controller. I'm on a PS5 controller right now. Just minimize that and then go back to the game and tabbing back in and now I can actually use it. Nice. But now let's try to launch Northstar. So now we are in the modded client's North Star. So we have something in our inbox, an advocate gift, and we can press server browser here. And now we can browse all these servers on North Star and just join whatever we want. Wow, this feels a little weird. But yeah, guys, this is Titanfall 2. It's one of the best fluid moving, best feeling games ever, in my opinion. Like literally the best movement of any game ever is Titanfall 2. I'm not even gonna lie. And we'll have to see how this ends up going. People are movement kings in this on PC, especially, assumingly. And I'm probably going to have to adjust my sensitivity and see what's up. But this is cool. It's just PvP, pilot versus pilot. You can play, of course, normal game modes as well. There's a bunch of different game modes. I saw a gun game as well. We got our first kill. Hey, first kill ever on Titanfall 2 on PC, as well as the client. Because I didn't even bother playing the Steam version. I went straight to the client which you guys can too. Just make sure you boot up the Steam version, like I said, at least once. Otherwise, you will have some issues trying to play North Star, and it might not work. Uh-oh. But yeah, guys, this is Titanfall 2. It's a fun game. I recommend checking it out, especially only for 3 bucks. It does have a 5-hour long or so single-player campaign, as well as the multiplayer. And through updates and stuff, I believe they even added a PvE mode, like a survival mode, if you're interested in checking that one out as well. You can check out different servers, have fun with the game, play with friends, play with randoms, meet some strangers, 
And like I said, like I showed off earlier, there's a lot of people usually on this. There's, as we saw, there's like a hundred hundreds of people. Multiple hundreds. And it's late at night on a weekday. Uh-oh, this is too high, apparently. Come on, let's get that guy. Yeah, then we can jump back down. Alright guys, maybe I'll do a gameplay video on this in the future, but uh, for now this is just the install guide. And have fun playing, and maybe I'll see you guys out here, because as we look for alternatives, because stuff like X-Labs and BOIII was shut down. So it almost feels like Justice going to play an EA game after that, because EA's not shutting this down. This has been up for quite a while, and it's still here. So we got some nice movements. This is, of course, better and more fluid than Apex, honestly, because this is the original Apex. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys found this video useful, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe for more modded clients, install guides, and gameplays here on the channel, and I will catch you guys in another one very, very soon. Peace out, guys.